Question 9, have a go. Okay, so when we're adding fractions, we need to have the common denominator, the same number on the bottom. So what do 5 and 8 both go into? They go into 40. So that establishes the 40 on the bottom. So 2 fifths needs to be converted into something over 40. What do we do to the 5 to turn it into a 40? We times it by 8. So do the same to the numerator. 2 eighths is 16. 8 times what is 40? That's 5. So do the same to the top. 3 fives are 15. Now we can just add the top numbers, 31, but remember the common denominator stays the same. It's 31 fortieths, not 31 eightieths. Now whenever we have fractions with a mixed number, start off by turning it into a, an improper fraction, a top heavy a top heavy one. So uh, 5 through to 15, 16, 17, so that's 17 over 3, 2 fours are 8, 9, 10, 11, that's 11 over 4. So same process as with adding, we need the common denominator which is 12, so, so times top and bottom here by 4 and top and bottom here by 3. Take away the numerators, the denominator stays the same. Question 10, have a go. So, dividing, the process is keep the first fraction the same, turn it into a timesing one, but flip over the second one. So, not, no longer 3 over 8, it's 8 over 3. It's then one of the easy multiplications, top times top, bottom times bottom, 16 over 15, which is 1 and 1 15th. Part B, as with anything with a mixed number, start off by turning it into a top every fraction. Timesing is just top, top, bottom, bottom. It's the easy one. That gives us 187 over 12, which simplifies down to 15. Well, not simplifies. It can be looked upon as being a mixed number of 15 and 7 twelfths.